So you're at your kitchen counter and you're wondering what can be composted. Hi, my name is Rick Carr, Farm Director of Rodale Institute. I'm joined here with my daughter Camila, and we're going to be talking about what can be composted in your backyard composting bin. So what can be composted? It's probably a lot easier to discuss what can't be composted. Uh, and in a backyard system, there's really only four things that you'd be exposed to, and that's gonna be glass, metal, plastic, and styrofoam. Everything else can break down for the most part in your backyard bin. That includes a lot of the stuff that you wouldn't expect, your meats, dairies, fats, oilies, fermented uh, items. All of these things will break down. If nature can do it, you can do it too in your backyard and any other food waste that you might generate at the counter. There's a few reasons why people would suggest not adding meats, dairies, fats, and oily materials to your compost bin is because if you're an inexperienced composter, a beginning composter, these are the materials that can bring trouble. So meats can attract flies and other pests, rodents. They can generate some foul odors and you could also be introducing some human pathogens. But if you're not lasagna layering and you're not managing your bin properly, then you're gonna experience these problems. Manage it, lasagna layering, keeping it covered will avoid all these issues. And in time, it will break down. There's two ways to describe our compostables. They're either browns or greens. Browns are gonna be higher in carbon and they're typically dry and brittle. Camila, what are two examples of some brown materials? Um, leaves and hay. And hay? Mm -hmm. Dry hay? What about straw? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you could, browns could also be paper, uh, wood chips, sawdust, stuff that's going to be much higher in carbon. And our green material is going to be basically everything else, and it's going to be higher in nitrogen. And so that includes all your food wastes, a lot of your food waste, and stuff that's gonna be typically wet as well. So when we're making our mixes of browns and greens, there's no one recipe that you can follow. It all depends on the material. And typically, if you have one bucket of green material, you're gonna be adding three to five buckets of brown material. So we're in the middle of lasagna layering. I had my nest of brown material, and we have straw here and then I dumped all of my food waste into the middle. And so Camila, what do we have in our food waste here? I see some paper plates, some eggshells, and paper towels. I see avocado. apple core. Yeah, you see the avocado. There's, yeah, there's some lettuce there that went moldy. I see one of your muffins that you didn't want to eat. <laughs> all that stuff will break down in our compost bin, won't it? Thank you for watching our video on what can be composted. Please watch Rodale Institute's other videos in our series of backyard composting.